Hey guys. So in this video, we're going to go over how to record the ATM withdrawals in QuickBooks Online. ATM withdrawals are done in two ways. One could be a withdrawal from your own bank, bank's ATM, where they don't, typically they don't charge you any ATM fee. So you can see this transaction right here. Well, it's $500 withdrawal, no fee charge, nothing. The next one you can see is $503, where I took out $500 from my business account, but they charged me a $3 fee as well. We're going to go over both of them how to enter it now there are different ways of entering atm withdrawals uh, for example if you know the purpose of why you're taking the money out versus if you don't know the purpose to keep it consistent we're going to use the second way which is any atm withdrawals that we make we're going to consider them as petty cash and as step number one and step number two is we're going to record expenses against those uh, petty cash um, amounts let's start so first one is simple which is right here so we took out money from our bank ATM is going to be the vendor, account is going to be petty cash, or it might be called cash on hand in your uh, QuickBooks. Petty cash, that's it. Now the second is ATM is the vendor. One more thing we need to do here, we have to divide this transaction into two amounts, which is petty cash and then the bank fee. So I'm going to click on split here. Petty cash was $500 and bank service charges are $3. That's it. We accounted for $503. There's no discrepancy to apply and accept. At this point, we should have $1,000 in our petty cash account. So let's go to our petty cash account quickly and let's look at it. Petty cash, $1,000 I have here. Perfect. Okay. Now the second step where we're going to record the expenses against this petty cash, you must have taken it out for some purpose, personal or business. So we're going to go over both of those um, situations. So let's start. So we're going to click on new expense. This expense is out of petty cash account. I'm taking it out for personal use. So I'm going to put my name here. And since it's my own business, I'm going to use today's date. It's a draw. It's an owner's draw. So let's say $500 for my personal use. If you want, you can put a description here. That's it. That's how we record the personal use. Save and new. Another transaction we're going to record now. Out of petty cash account. Let's say I paid one of the vendors in cash. Okay, we have to make sure that we pick the right account. Petty cash. This is for some office supplies. $200. I'm going to do another one. Save and new. Again, petty cash. Another vendor is being paid for advertising. I pay $300, make it $200. We pay $200 and save and close. Now my petty cash has $100 left, which is fine. That's the balance you have right now, but make sure this balance matches with the actual cash that you have in your uh, petty cash account. See how you can see the $500 taken out, another $500 taken out, then you spend $500 this was for personal use. This was paid to another vendor. And now we have $100 in our petty cash account. I know a lot of people don't really pay attention to this petty cash account, but it's very important. It's just like any other account. I've seen QuickBooks files for people where they have thousands and thousands of dollars in here, but they don't actually have that money. And they forget to record the expenses against this petty cash, which means they are basically losing all the deductions um, that their business could have uh, gotten on their tax return. So yes, it's very important. Do uh, pay attention to this account. Okay, and that's it uh, with ATM and petty cash account and uh, happy account.